So in this video, I will just show you how to solve some of the problems in your modules, especially formative and summative assessment. So your topic is all about quadrilaterals. Now, there are um, many kinds of quadrilaterals. Nangunguna dyan yung parallelogram. Uh, there's the special parallelograms, which is the square, rectangle, and the rhombus. And then uh, you have your kite, you have your trapezoid, yun yung mga yun. So in this one, for example, find x. Assuming that R, S, T, U is a parallelogram, so how will you find the value of x? Ngayon sa parallelogram, um, opposite sides are congruent. So equal dapat yung opposite side niya. So, si RS must be equal to UT and si RU must be equal to ST. So, in order for you to uh, find the value of X, make an equation. RU is equal to ST or side RU is equal to ST. So, you have 8X minus 2 is equal to 12X minus 16. Then, find the value of X na. Transpose. Sa pagtitranspose, ang itranspose mo na lang yung mas maliit na value. For example, 8x plus 12x. Ano bang mas maliit doon? 8x. So, 8x ang lilipat. So, we have 12x minus 8x. Then, si negative 2 test si negative 16. Sino bang mas maliit sa kanila? Mas maliit ang negative 16. So, kabila. So, we have negative 2 plus 16. Or, para mas madali, may iwan si negative 2 dyan you have positive 16. From negative, magiging positive. Then you have 12x minus 8x is 4x. Then you have 16 minus 2 is equal to you have 14. Dividing both sides by 4. Cancel. x now is equal to if you cannot simplify for uh, your answer, you can just write your answer in fraction form. Answer is 14 over 4. Yan. Next. This one, we have a square. The diagonals of the square AC and BD are x plus 4 and 2x respectively find the measurement of the diagonals ac and bd so when we're talking about your square the special parallelogram especially their diagonals the diagonals of a square are congruent ibig sabihin uh, the measurements are equal kung anuman yung measurement ng diagonal ac yun yung magiging measurement ng diagonal bd or db so we can write an equation, you have a uh, diagonal AC is equal to the diagonal PD. Since they are equal, kahit magbalibiligtad dyang x plus 4 or 2x na okay lang since equal lang naman sila. So, uh, AC is equal to x plus 4 is equal to 2x, yung BD. Then, transpose. Ano yung transpose mo dyan? Transpose pa yung 4 or yung x. Like terms. O kung ano yung magkakaparehas, yun dapat ang pagsama-samahin. So, you have x tapos 2x. Since mas mababa ang x, lipat siya sa kabila. You have 2x. From positive x, magiging negative x. Then, may iwan yung 4 doon. So, so, that's 2x minus x. You have x now is equal to 4. Yan. So, x now is equal to 4. Next. In this one, we have a rectangle. Now, ang rectangle naman is the diagonals are also congruent. Same as true with the square. So, ibig sabihin kung ano yung measurement ng isang diagonal, yun yung magiging measurement ng isa pang diagonal. And also naman, when we're talking about uh, angles ng rectangle, if you notice, ang rectangle, meron siyang 90 degrees, apat na 90 degrees. At uh, this angle, ito, we can say that angle B, C, D is 90 degrees. You have A, B, C is 90 degrees. Pwede ding D, A, B. And also, you have uh, B, A, D. 90 degrees na mga yan. Ngayon, find the diagonal. 
AC is equal to 20. Find diagonal BD and measurement of angle EDA. You have angle EDA. This angle. Ito. Now, first, find the diagonal DB. We have their information AC is equal to 20, which is yun yung diagonal muna isa. So, ibig sabihin, DB, yun yung isang diagonal, is also... 20. So, AC is equal to TB. Since AC is equal to 20, DB is also equal to 20. So, 20 ang AC. You have DB. 20 din ang DB. Ngayon, paano mo naman kukunin yung measurement ng angle EDA? Now, remember, yung buong angle A DC is 90 degrees. Since yung part na to is 40 degrees, this one, take note, yung kabuuan nila, which is etong buong to, is 90 degrees. You have angle ADB. Ang hinahanap is angle EDA, etong red part na to. Since 40 na yan, ano pa dapat ang gagawin mo para makuha mo yung angle EDA? So, if you want to write your solution, just by looking, you can answer this one. You have 50. Kasi, pag naging 50 to, you have 50 degrees plus 40 degrees. Ang kabuuan yan is 90 degrees, which covers the, the angle ADC. Yun. So, ganun lang. Next. Now we have a rhombus. Ngayon sa rhombus naman, all sides are congruent. Ang uh, uh, diagonals niya naman, the diagonals forms complementary angles. Ibig sabihin ng complementary angles, it forms a 90 degree angle. So yung angle niya dun sa gitna, if you look at the center, itong angle na to, ito, this angle, this one, and this one, they all form a 90 degree angle. So, 90 degree ang BFC, ang CFD 90 degree, ang DFA 90 degrees, at ang AFB is 90 degrees. Now, if the measurement of angle ABF, this one, this one is 40 degrees. 40 degrees yan. Oh, 40 degrees. FB. You have a uh, measurement of FB is 10. FA is 6. Find the measurement of angle DBC. You have this one. And the measurement of FC. Now, mas madaling kunin dito yung measurement ng diagonals because in terms of diagonals, they bisect each other. Anong ibig sabihin ng bisect? They bisect each other. Hinahati nila yung diagonal sa sarili na into two equal parts. Which means, si AC, kung ano measurement ni AC, yun yung magiging measurement ni CF or ni FC. Kung ano yung measurement ni FD, Yun yung magiging measurement ni FB. Ngayon, FA is equal to 6. This one is 6. You are finding the value of FC. Kung equal yan kay uh, FC, you have 6. So, your FC is equal to 6. Kasi, yung FA mo is equal to 6. Ngayon, how about yung measurement ni angle uh, DBC? Same as true with the angles. They also bisect each other. So yung diagonals, hin hinahati niya yung uh, angle into two equal parts, which is ito. Pag maglalagay ka ng diagonal DB, nahati niya si angle ABC into ABF and CBF. Ngayon, they are equal, yung dalawang angle na yun. Kung ano yung magiging measurement na tong angle na to, also equal siya sa measurement na angle na to. Maghahati lang sila. So, ibig sabihin, if 
ABF is 40 degrees, then DBC, which is this angle, itong green part na to, is also 40 degrees. So, you have the measurement of angle D, B, C is equal to 40 degrees. Next, going back sa parallelogram, now we're dealing with angles dito. You have angle A is 2x plus 15 degrees and you have angle D is 3x plus 5 degrees. And find x. If we're talking about parallelogram, consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Ibig sabihin, ang magkasunod na angle sa parallelogram is equal to 180 degrees or supplementary. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng karakteristik ng parallelogram na yun. Consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Now, if we form an equation to find the value of x, giging or uh, the measurement of angle A plus the measurement of angle D must be equal to 180 degrees because they are supplementary. Pag inad mo dapat silang dalawa, 180 degrees. Now, we have angle A is 2x plus 15 plus angle D is 3x plus 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Solve. Combine like terms. We have 2x plus 3x, 5x. Uh, 15 plus 5 is 20 equal to 180. Transpose. Meron kang 5x is equal to 180 minus 20. You have 180 minus 20, 160. 5x. Dividing both sides by 5, you have now x is equal to 30. Two. Next, we have another parallelogram. This time, we're talking about the angles and the sides. Kanina, sinabi ko na kanina that opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So, ibig sabihin yung um, opposite sides is equal. So, to find the value of y muna tayo. Kasi yun yung mas madali. To find the value of y, create an equation. Meron kang y minus 2 is equal to 2y minus 10. Because they are opposite sides, therefore, they are congruent. Or in measurement, they are equal. Ngayon, transpose. You have 2y minus y. Negative 10 punta sa kabila. May 1 si negative 2. From negative 10, magiging positive 10. You have y now is equal to 8. Now, we have the value of y, which is 8. Ngayon, dito naman sa value of x, when we're talking about um, angles, kanina sinabi ko consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary or 180 degrees. Dito naman, anong relationship ni angle D kay angle B? They are both opposite angles. Ngayon, pag opposite angles, hindi siya supplementary kasi consecutive lang dapat ang supplementary or 180 degrees. In this case, opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Or ibig sabihin, ang opposite angles ng parallelogram, uh, the, their measurements must be equal. So instead of um, equals to 180 degrees, etong dalawang to, equals lang sa isa't isa. So, you have x plus 20 is equal to 2x plus 10. Yan lang sila kasi opposite angle sila. Hindi na sila equal to 180 degrees because they are not consecutive. They are opposite. Pag opposite, equal sa, equal sa, sa isa't isa. Pag consecutive, equal siya, uh, supplementary siya, or 180 degrees. Now, solve. 
you have 2x now, transpose mo yung x, minus x, yung 10, lipat mo sa kabila, you have positive 20, minus 10. You have x now is equal to 10. So, you have the value of x and y. Next. Now, we have a trapezoid. Now, sa trapezoid, may tinatawag tayong median, which is yung nasa gitna. Wherein if itong 15 yung base niya, itong x is another base, tapos itong 9, yan yung median, yung guhit niya sa gitna. Now, sa median, we have a formula. Median is equal to the first base or the b sub 1, b sub 1 plus b sub 2 over 2. That will be our formula. Yung sa base, kahit alin dyan yung base 1 or base 2 mo, kung anong gusto mo, go lang. Kung gusto mong base 1 mo tong x, okay lang. Kung gusto mo yung base 1 mo is 15, okay lang rin. Now, ang median mo is yung nasa gitna. Now, you can substitute everything. So, you have 9 is your median. is so equal now to b sub 1. For example, you have 15 plus your b sub 2 is x over 2. Now, what you can do here is cross multiply muna. So, you have 18 is equal now to 15 plus x. So, that's 9 times 2. 2 times 9. Then, transpose. Meron kang 18 minus 15 is equal to x. So, x now is equal to 3. Ganun lang ang median. He just use this formula, then substitute. Kapag may nakita kayo median no problem, pag trapezoid siya, go for this formula. Or, ayun na sa module nyo, is 1 half um, base, sub, base 1 plus base 2. Pares lang rin yun. Next. Now, going back sa square, we have uh, two relationship here. Kung ano yung sa diagonals in terms of measurement nila and uh, diagonals in terms kung ano yung mga angles nila. So, dito sa una, you have this one. Diagonals ng square, their diagonals are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung man yung magiging measurement na to, yun yung magiging measurement na to. And, at the same time, their diagonals bisect each other. So, inahati nila yung sarili, sarili nila into two equal parts. Therefore, you can conclude if this is a square and you have to find the values of A, B, and C. This one is 4. You can assume that every single one of them is equal to 4. This one 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 is equal to Four. So basically, 4 lahat ang sagot dyan. A is equal to 4, B is equal to 4, C is equal to 4. Dito naman, angles. Ang, angle, ang diagonal sila, pag naglagay ka ng diagonal, it bisect the angle, which is ito. Ito angle 1, tsaka angle 2. Ulit, ang, uh, again, ang ibig sabihin ng bisect, uh, cuts the angle into two equal parts. If you're going to look at the square, Especially yung dulo niya, this one, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees. So, kung 90 degrees yung hini, hinahati ng square, of course, arba yung kalahati ng 90, uh, ng 90 degrees, it's 40 de 45 degrees. So, angle 2 is 45 degrees and angle 1 is 45 degrees. Yan. I hope na intindihan nyo kahit paano and uh, we're sorry if hindi kami makapag-provide ng matinong video, mga ganito lang. I hope hindi kayo ganun nahirapan sa module namin and uh, good luck.